What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bruce Wang and today I'm gonna show you how I make my YouTube videos. So right now I'm at my studio. Uh, this place is about 700 square feet and I have two separate rooms here. The number one tip that I have for making YouTube videos is to have your own space, have your own studio or room to make your YouTube videos. Uh, you don't want to be setting up your lights, cameras, uh, positioning it to get the correct frame. You just want to be able to hit the record button, turn on the lights, and just go to work. Uh, so that's that was really important for me. That's why I have this studio space. This makes it a lot easier for me to shoot my videos. So the second thing that was very important for me to make my videos was to have uh, some type of lighting. I don't normally make videos during the daytime, but when I do, I like to use natural light uh, as I'm doing right now. And it is probably better to make videos in the morning or during the daytime because natural lighting is the best source of lighting. One con of natural lighting is that you have to always adjust your camera to uh, for the lighting situation. And um, when that happens a lot, um, I like to just switch to uh, my lighting equipment. For my lighting equipment, I have one ring light and I have two um, filler lights or backdrop lights or whatever you wanna call them. And I also have a diffuser and I use that in combination to uh, make my uh, normal videos. And as a side note, I use this gray backdrop because it makes my videos look a lot cleaner and um, I don't have to do much setting up. I just set it up one time and I can just hit the record button and uh, I can start filming. Um, I eventually want to create a more um, appealing uh, studio space, but right now, this studio space is very minimal. Moving on, the third thing that was very important to me was to have a very good camera for these videos. Uh, I, I am right now, I'm using the Canon 5D Mark IV and a Rode Mic Pro, I think it's called. And this is the setup that you're seeing right now. I'll list all of the items in the description below if you guys want to check that out. And this is how I have my camera set up. Uh, right now, this is the, I, I'm using a mirror so I can see the uh, display to see if I'm properly exposed and focused. So this is uh, kind of trippy for me right now. Um, audio and video and video quality is important, but if you only have a, you know, a decently new phone, a smartphone, uh, you can just make YouTube videos off of your smartphones. But if you can upgrade, um, I recommend that you do upgrade. Um, it's not that important, but uh, you know, I want high quality videos and high quality audio for my videos because it's more on brand with uh, uh, what I'm trying to put out. Uh, you know, just high quality content. And the fourth thing that you would need to make a YouTube video like mine is an editing software. Right now, I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro X or Final Cut Pro 10. I'm running that off of my MacBook Pro and it takes me about 30 minutes to edit one of my videos. So for example, uh, this video that um, I'm doing right now, this would probably take 30 minutes to 45 minutes to um, just shoot while I'm talking to the camera and whatnot. And it would take me about another 30 to 45 minutes to edit the video and post it on YouTube. And after two hours of work, you would have a uh, YouTube video uh, on my channel. If you guys are just starting out, uh, try to go the cheaper route and um, use whatever you have that's available. To go and get um, you know, very expensive equipment and lighting and all this stuff is not really necessary. So for my final thoughts, uh, making YouTube videos should just be something fun uh, for you to do. Doing this is a very creative experience and um, just enjoy the process. Uh, you don't have to take your things too seriously. Making YouTube videos should be a fun thing. You know, it'll show on screen. Don't, don't be too serious. You know, uh, you should be able to laugh at yourself. A lot of the times you're gonna be awkward uh, you know, when you're talking to a camera, when you're first learning to talk to a camera, it's hard to uh, keep eye contact with the lens 
and I always stumble on my words all the time. But yeah, that, that's how I make my YouTube videos. So if you've made it to the end of this video and you found that this helped you in some way, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, let me know. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification, check the links in the description for everything that I use. I'll, I'll be posting that up. Uh, so hopefully this video helped you. Um, follow my Instagram, it's right here. Check it out. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.